六年八月二十八号，六名志愿者结束三百六十五天的火星任务，平安回到地球。所有人迫不及待地拥抱朝思暮想的亲人和一场许久未尝的人间玫瑰。Any real mission to Mars would be a one-way ticket, but these pioneers got to come home. Because this planet is the planet of the Earth. Mars is very inhospitable, so like we can't. There's hardly any air, and we can't breathe if there was. There's no soil, so you can't grow anything. We know that the atmosphere is full of carbon dioxide, so the risks are very high. You'd really have to rely on life support systems. There's a lot of rocks. There's a lot of mountains and ridges, um, so there's a lot of danger. 这片看似危机四伏的红土地，实际上是夏威夷帽纳罗亚火山，被称为地球上最接近火星的地方。在火山北坡海拔两千四百多公尺的地方 ，NASA 出资与夏威夷大学新建了一个火星基地，在此执行一项简称为 HiSIS 的火星任务。也就是借助这片贫瘠的土地，模拟人类能否在火星上生存。一顶宽十公尺、高六公尺的白色帐篷是他们唯一能放松的地方。除了这个帐篷，就得裹上太空衣，全副武装。That group and that set of research is all looking at human behavior over these long duration missions and how it affects performance. When NASA is planning these long-duration space missions, what they do is they have a set of risks, and those risks are either colored green for acceptable, yellow for not solved but okay, and red for a problem. And NASA will not send a human mission to Mars while there are still red risks on the list. This is what we wore all the time. It's a sociometer, and it measures your interactions with each other. So it lights up when you're talking to someone. Aloha. Just seeing if any of you guys ever check this. I can give you my personal impression, which is that um, a mission to Mars in the close future is realistic. I think the technological and psychological obstacles can be overcome. 有志愿者背书，今年夏威夷帽纳罗亚火山又要迎来第五批 HiSIS 志愿者，但这次不用像他们一样隔离一年，只要离群所居八个月。他们都是 NASA 准备登陆火星的先驱部队，人类移民火星的第一步。The dark streaks in this image are believed to be liquid and extremely salty water. 二零一五年，火星上有水的重大发现，提高了在红色星球上发现生命的机会。全球科学家莫不跃跃欲试。二零一六年三月十四号，欧洲太空总署时隔十三年再次执行火星任务。这是欧洲太空总署和俄罗斯联邦航天局共同合作的火星探测计划。美国太空总署 NASA 策划了一件大事。We're establishing cargo flights to Mars that people that people can count on, and I think if things go according to plan, we should be able to. We should be able to launch people probably in 2024 with arrival in 2025. Musk 说，人类最快二零二五年就能上火星，不是信口开河的。SpaceX has big plans to usher in a new era of reusable rockets that could send the first humans to Mars and return them home. This is SpaceX's Dragon 2 spacecraft. The first iteration of the capsule has been making trips to the International Space Station since 2012. To get there, it rode atop the company's Falcon 9 rocket, which, if you haven't heard, is reusable. But Mars is hundreds of thousands of times farther away than the ISS, so the Dragon 2 will need something a little more powerful to get there. That's where SpaceX's Falcon Heavy comes in. This monster rocket is essentially three Falcon 9 boosters strapped together, with the ability to send almost 30,000 pounds of payload to Mars. But getting to Mars is easy compared to landing on it. The Martian atmosphere is about a thousand times thinner than Earth's, so simple parachutes won't slow a vehicle down enough to land safely. Gravity on Mars is only about a third of what it is on Earth, but the vehicle will still be shooting toward the ground at over a thousand miles per hour after entering the atmosphere. To counteract the freefall, Dragon 2 will have to rely on its Super Draco thrusters, four sets of two engines capable of generating 16,000 pounds of thrust each. As it plummets towards the Martian surface, it will fire its thrusters for a soft, vertical touchdown. 
This sort of landing is unlike anything anyone has ever tried before. Did life arise on Mars once, and can we find out? From the Curiosity rover, we now know that Mars once was a planet very much like Earth, with warm, salty seas, with freshwater lakes, probably snow-capped peaks and clouds, and a water cycle, just like we're studying here on Earth with our Earth science satellites. We are now at a point, technologically, with you know, over 50 years of successful space flight, that we have the capability to go there, ask this question of is there life on Mars and answer it. NASA's future goal is to send people to the moon in 2030. The goal is to send people to the moon. This is not only NASA's dream, it is also the dream of the world.